The interior planes was originally formed when cratons collided and welded together about 1.9 billion years ago. Since then, the area has relatively stable tectonic activity. The interior planes is located between the Cordillera and the Canadian Shield. It should not be confused with the prairies even though the land is generally flat. There are a number of provinces in the interior plains. BC, Yukon, Northwest Territories, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. The climate for the interior plains most of the time is dry. Therefore, many cities and towns are located near water sources, and the population is usually more concentrated in the south due to milder temperatures. There are many big water sources within the interior plains, such as the Great Slave Lake, Great Bear Lake, and Lake Winnipeg. The vast interior plains extend from the Arctic Ocean all the way to the Rockies. The climate of the interior plains varies throughout the region. Summers are between 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius, and winters are between minus 10 degrees Celsius to minus 30 degrees Celsius. This region receives a lot of sunshine each year, resulting in good crop yields. However, droughts are a common natural event that happens in the interior plains, which can be bad for farmers. Sometimes weather in the plains can be severe. Examples are floods, tornadoes, hails, dust storms, and blizzards. The interior plains are known for its high agricultural productivity. With so much sunshine, it is ideal to have a big farming industry. Farming is one of the major occupations in the interior plains along with the other industries such as forestry, mining, oil, and gas. These are the main natural resources in the interior plains. Nearly half of the interior plains is occupied by productive forests. Between 1951 and 1991, forest harvest increased by 82% and farmland increased by 8% over the last 20 years. In the early 20th century, as demand for petroleum rose, a big oil and fuel deposit was found in Alberta. For the last 50 years, this was the focal point of the Interior Plains economy. In Manitoba and Saskatchewan, hydroelectric power plants were built as another way for economic prosperity. Human activities have caused habitat fragmentation to the Interior Plains. This caused the habitat and the population of the animals to, to diminish. Prominent animals in the area are caribou, moose, black bear, beaver, deer, and elk. The free roaming bison faced almost extinction by the 1880s because of the fur trade. At first, the fur traders hunted bison for its meat, but soon after, they found that hides to be profitable, and they were sold to the North American fashion industry. Eventually, thousands of bisons were killed each year. The Interior Plains is the home of the Salto, Cree, Blackfoot, and Dene First Nations groups. They were the first people who developed the way of life in the Interior Plains. The First Nations hunted bison, caribou, and moose. They relied on the resources given them to them from nature and they never took more than what was needed. One of the first major settlements was along the Red River where Winnipeg is located today. It makes sense for settlers to settle near a river because it provides them with a good water source. In the 1700s, early Francophone people explored this region and began the fur trade with the First Nations. Fur trading posts were set up, developing larger communities. The Cree and Métis people in the region supplied food to fur traders and acted as guides and scouts, which allowed the settlers to travel further west and north. The completion of the railway in the late 1800s helped bring settlers, including many farmers, to different parts of the plains. The creation of the P Canadian Pacific Railway was a big development to the area. It brought settlers to the prairies, allowed the Northwest Mounted Police to move quickly to times of trouble, and allowed the settlers to ship their product. During the time, the big factors were the fur trade and transportation. The development of the railway was a huge step forward. Today, factors that affect the quality of life in the region are the weather, recreation, and jobs. This is the end of our presentation on the interior plains. Thank you for your attention.